today's quick tip video, I'll be showing you a very simple modification that you can do to greatly increase the security of exterior doors. The best part of what I'm about to show you is the cost, less than $1 per door. When people think of security for exterior doors, they automatically think of deadbolts and other door locks. Even going as far as spending big money on high security deadbolts, like this Medico you see right here. The problem is, most people overlook the door hinges. Not all exterior doors have security hinges installed. Security hinges have a protrusion that lines up with a hole in the opposite side of the hinge, just like what you see right here in this image. When the door is fully closed, the protrusion will be inside the hole, preventing removal of the door, even if the hinge pins were to be removed. Some hinges have non-removable pins, but most are removable. Buying quality security hinges can get expensive, so the method I'm going to show you will save you a lot of money. Okay, let me show you exactly what you're going to need to get the job done. You need a drill, two different size drill bits, I'll go over the sizes in a minute with you, an old lipstick, an Avery label, and a hammer. To do this job, we're going to be using tension pins, quarter inch OD, one inch long, the drill bits that we're going to be using, one is going to be slightly smaller, 730 seconds, and the other one is going to be slightly larger at 5 sixteenths. Alright, now I'm going to show you exactly how to install these tension pins. For this modification, we're only going to be working on the top and bottom hinges of the door. The first thing you're going to do is prop the door open. You're going to take the smaller drill bit and you're going to apply the Avery label or if you have a drill stop you can use that as well you're going to set it for about three quarters of an inch so when you drill through the hinge into the door jam you're going to know exactly when to stop the next thing you're going to do is take the tension pin position it over the hole that you just drilled and then you're going to hammer it all the way in until it sticks out about a quarter of an inch do not go less than a quarter of an inch because some doors have play on the side of the door and if there is play, they may be able to still remove the door with the hinge attached. So make sure it sticks out no less than one quarter of an inch. Now that the tension pin is installed, the next step is to take the lipstick and you're going to apply it to the end of the tension pin. Once that's done, you're going to close the door until you feel resistance. That means the tension pin is making contact with the other side of the hinge. Open and close the door a few times then take a look to see if the lipstick transferred to the opposite side of the hinge to give you a very good indication of where you should be drilling. Once that spot's been marked, you're going to drill the hole using the smaller bit first. And once that's done, you're going to switch to the larger bit, which is 5 sixteenths, and you're going to make a nice clean hole. As you can see here, the pin on the left now will line up perfectly with the hole on the right when the door is fully closed. As a result of that, removing the hinge pin will not allow you to take the door and pull it out of the door jam. You're now going to repeat exactly what I showed you with the bottom hinge. Once that's complete, you're done. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to rate thumbs up, subscribe, and post links to this video on other websites and blogs. Also be sure to check out my video playlist as well. Thank you very much for watching.